this is my Katya All Stars Season 2 makeup tutorial. This is from Episode 2 Snatch Game, uh, where she wore the swimmer's outfit. Now, this is my interpretation of this makeup look. Obviously, I don't have the full latex outfit that she had on. But oh my days, I freaking loved it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the first times that I actually went, wow, that's absolutely amazing from Cardia. I'm not even lying. I think this look, this swimmer's costume PVC latex outfit that Cardia wore, I think this is one of the best runway looks ever to grace the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. That's a lot for me to say because I don't really like Cardia's style usually. I'm like this is one of the first times I was like, caught yeah, like, wow, you got a suit that girl. It's so good. It's so good. I really like the makeup look as well because Katya did something different with her eyes and did some glitter. To be honest, a lot of people are rooting for Katya this season of All Stars. Absolutely love watching Trixie and Katya's little show called uh, on Wow Presents. Um that show. I'll leave one of Cardi and Trixie Mattel's videos down below because honestly, they are crazy. They are mental. They are actually mental. By the way, if you want more Drag Race All Stars looks every single week as every episode comes on, then please subscribe, innit? Just subscribe for the channel. Just subscribe. Obviously, the ensemble is not right, but the makeup is, and that's all that matters to me, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video, guys. So, guys, I have grey hair again. I've just dyed this all by myself. I bleached about three or four times, and then toned it a lot. There's so many different tones in the hair. There's grey, there's silver, and some lilac tones. Um, I hope to fix that soon, but right now, here is what we've got. I don't know, I kind of like it, but I wish it was even all the way through. But the first thing that I'm going to do is do my eyebrows, because I've already done my face, so, um, that's done. Okay, for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Ella Masca Brow Gel in Stir. This is one of my favourite brow products. I honestly don't really use powders on my eyebrows, like... It's a rare situation if that happens because I'm very much a cream person when it comes to my eyebrows. Oh girl, this is a heavy brow today. You know, they say that it's okay if you make your eyebrows a little bit uneven because eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. Sometimes your brows don't even end up looking merely alike at all. Not even sisters, they're more like distant cousins or, you know, two girls from the same school. Do you know what I mean? For the inner, I'm just going to be using my Rimmel brow this way and just to make my eyebrows a little bit more feathered and also ombre. You see, they look a little bit less crazy now. This is standard, I'm going to be using my OCC Skin Conceal and why I want to just carve the brows. So guys, actually the first thing that I'm going to do is use an orange blush. This is from Sasha and this is going to go into my crease. I just like a good transition colour. Even though we're using colour in the crease, you want a transition colour in there to help the blending. And then I'm going to go into my colour palette, which is from Makeup Geek. And all of the eyeshadows are from Makeup Geek. And the first shade that I'm going to be using is Boo Berry, which is this dark blue colour. I'm using the E45 blending brush from Sigma to just put that into the crease. Katya's, Katya's crease is very, very rounded and it's very rich in colour, so I'm just applying a lot of this into the crease. And already, it's not very hard to blend into the orange, into the skin, because the transition colour was there beforehand. I'm just going in with a clean blending brush and just diffuse the colour. I'm actually going to go in with my Black Magic Eye Coat Eyeliner and I'm going to carve in the crease. As I said before, I want this to be super rounded. I'm taking Peacock Eyeshadow mixed in a little bit of Corrupt and smudge the crease in. Once you've blended that up and out, I'm just going to go in with my Pegasus colour. This is a foiled eyeshadow from me. 
Girl, I always be dropping things. Anyway, I'm using Pegasus and I'm packing that all over the lid. This is a base colour for the glitter. You see that? It looks so good! I'm going to go in with my Alice Splash Glitter and my Makeup Forever in... Number 6. Look at it. It's so nice. This is the perfect colour for this look. Once you've got that colour on, I'm going to use my NYC liquid liner and line the eyes. Cardia doesn't have a wing, so I'm not going to create a wing for this look. And I'm doing my eyeliner pretty thick because this is drag. You know? For travel dimension. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with my Inglot Gel Eyeliner in 70. It's like a periwinkle blue. So for the lower, I'm just going to be using my Boo Berry eyeshadow and smudge the lower lash line out. You want to go all the way into the inner corner of the eye as well. For the inner corner, um, Katya has the tiniest bit of glitter. So I'm going to be applying my MAC Transparent Teal Glitter. Just a tiny little bit. I'm actually just so obsessed with this glitter. Like, this whole glitter ensemble is giving me so much life. It's so... I don't even know. It's just nice. For my mascara, I'm going to be using my Volumizer from Bourjois. And then I'm going to apply some dry lashes on top. I actually stacked three or four lashes together for a good dry lash, you know? So I'm just putting that on my lash line now. So guys, now that the eyes are done, I'm going to be using my NYX Contour Kit to contour and highlight. I'm going to use cream to highlight under the eyes, and then I'm going to be using a bunch of these, like, contour shades. I'm just going to, like, pan through the contour shades and apply all of the contour shades all over. You want your contours to be super super blended because Cardia's beat is very Pamela Anderson, very woman. Cartier's beat isn't as drag as some of the other girls. It's B, but not to full capacity Trixie Mattel, do you know what I mean? For my, for my blush, I'm still going to be using my Sasha Powdered Blush in Burn Orange. I'm just slightly using the blush. I'm going to be mixing in three different colours of liquid lipsticks to achieve the right colours. So I'm going to be using Sugar Coated from MUA, which is a light pink, then Vivacity, which is a neon pink, and Moxie, which is a, a reddish tone pink. So this is like my mixture. I'm just going to mix that in and put that on my lips. Yes. I'm not going to line my lips because... <laughs> Yes, yes! Okay, I'm just gonna put some stuff on and then I'm gonna come back. So guys, this is the final look. I am absolutely in love. Do you like my nails? My nails are like Aztec print. Oh my, sorry about my Mendy. It's, um, it's kind of fading. My nails, my Aztec print nails, I freaking love them. They are from Primark. Actually, they were only a quid. I can't lie, like, I really like them. I'm obsessed with this eye and lip combo. I would never think to mix up this kind of Pepto-Bismol pink 
With this eye look, I would never have done that. I would have done a nude lip. But honestly, I'm in love with this. And I probably will do this look again, to be honest. Let me know down below if you still enjoy my Drag Race series. I've done Adore, I've done Roxy, and I've done Tatiana. So let me know down below who else you want me to do in All Stars. And I love you guys so, so much. Comment down below, tell me what you think. Subscribe to the channel because honestly, it helps me out so much if you guys can do that. And it makes me happy and it keeps me motivated to do more videos because it lets me know that you guys are actually wanting to watch these videos. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 600 likes. If you can do that, then I'll, I, honestly, it'll, it'll make me really happy. Um, bye, guys.